modulation property. What's modulation property? Uh, when you multiply a signal by e to the power of j constant times t, or multiply the, the signal by cosine, multiplying by sine. So any one of those we consider as modulation, and sometimes we call it um, different name, uh, like uh, x of t, sine ct, they call it multiplying by sinusoid. Or even multiplied by cosine, also multiplying by uh, sinusoidal. That's the the way that the uh, they call it. And for the top one, x of t multiplied by e power uh, comp, uh, measuring number here times t. Uh, sometimes they call it uh, frequency shifting. So uh, th this is a our known name for that. So this one sometimes they call it frequency shift. When you look at the first one, when you multiply a signal by e bar j c t, then you'll find that uh, the Fourier transform of the signal uh, every frequency shift by minus c. Let's take an example. In this example, find the magnitude of the spectrum of this signal y of t equal e power j times pi over 2 t multiplied by the rectangular pulse of width equal 2 and you want to evaluate it at omega equals 0 means the dc component okay so let's take step by step first we are going to find uh, Fourier transform of the main function the rectangular pulse for multiplying by the exponential function so that will give us tau uh, because bt tau it's for you transform tau sync omega tau over 2 pi we'll use here tau uh, equal 2 so it's equal to sync 2 omega over 2 pi which would be equal to 2 sync omega over pi that would be uh, x of omega because this one our x of t when you multiply by e j pi over 2t so that's your c the c now is equal pi over 2 i remind you by the formula e power j c t so you make shift for over omega by minus c by minus pi over 2. So if you call this all y of t, as said there, so y of omega will be equal to uh, x of omega, and you subtract c, which is pi over 2. That's x of omega. So that will be equal to 2 sinc omega minus pi over 2 divided by pi that would be y of omega they want to find the magnitude of the spectrum at omega equal uh, 0 so we'll say at omega equal 0 the spectrum will be equal to sinc 0 minus pi over 2 will be equal to minus pi over 2 over pi that's equal to 2 sinc minus one half great uh, we need to find its value so we use the definition of sinc sinc z is equal sine z pi over z pi in this case y of 0 is equal to 2, sinc would be sine, and then multiply all this by pi, so minus pi over 2 divided by minus pi over 2. That 2 over negative pi over 2 would be equal to negative 4 over pi sine negative pi over 2. Negative 4 over pi 
and sine negative pi over 2 is equal to negative 1 so the answer will be equal 4 over 5 okay let's take another example on the modulation assume that there's a signal and this signal look like that cosine wave but from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 and the height is 1 so that's the function I'll call it y of it y of t is equal to cosine t for t greater than negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 and 0 elsewhere you might ask yourself why i write this cosine t for this period yes you know this is look like cosine but maybe it's cosine 2 t 3 t why make it cosine 1 t simply because you say cosine and then what you have here 2 pi over the period right that's how you write the cosine in general cosine 2 pi over t times t small so this is t the period the one the capital one here so the the the, the period here for uh, the the cosine uh, it, obviously it's 2 pi because if you look for the cosine the normal cosine you finish and then it's going to complete the cycle again will be repeated again so that's from uh, that's pi that's negative pi over 2 and that's pi and that's positive pi over 2 and that's pi and that's the period which is equal to 2 pi so 2 pi over 2 pi is equal 1 that's why I put it cosine 1 t all right so that's important because maybe you can have different problem with different period anyway so that's why of t equal cosine t from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Uh, to, in general cosine t is defined over t from negative infinity to infinity. So when you have something like that, an example we explain it in previous example, uh, it means it's multiplied y of t it's uh, multiplying rectangular pulse because if you have the, the cosine wave like that it's from negative infinity to positive infinity and let's say that you choose you want to have only this portion it means you multiply the whole cosine by rectangular pulse from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 0 here 0 there so we only take this part so actually y of t is a product of two things cosine t and the rectangular pulse and the width is pi because it runs from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2 so that's what you have this is the signal that you need to find its Fourier transform it can be expressed in this way doing that you can apply the modulation formula if cosine ct multiply by x of t then you get this so let's just first uh, look at again y of t equal cosine t and that's your x of t so the first thing you do find is for your transform x of omega well x of omega for a rectangular pulse of width equal pi it's equal pi sink omega tau omega pi over pi over 2 pi pi cancel pi so x of omega will be equal to pi sink 
omega over 2. So that's the first part. So what happens when you multiply this signal, the rectangular pulse, multiplied by cosine? We'll have to go back, see the formula here. When you multiply x of t by cosine, then you make shift by plus c and minus c, you add him and then divide it by 2. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So y omega will be equal half. Let me write the formula. Omega plus c plus x omega minus c. Your c here, look for the cosine t, ct cosine ct equal t, so c is equal 1. You have c equal 1. So, and that's x of omega. So I'll write it again. But replacing every omega by omega plus 1, this first part. Let, let's just um, make it easy. That's x of omega. So write x of omega plus 1. It will be equal to pi sinc omega plus 1 divided by 2. And x omega minus 1 will be equal pi sinc omega minus 1 over 2. And then you add them according to this formula and divide it by 2. It will give you the final answer for y of omega is equal half. You can take pi as a common factor. And then what's left? Sinc omega plus 1 over 2 plus sinc omega minus 1 over 2. And that will be uh, good uh, enough. All right.